YouTube, um, haven't done any videos in a while. Been um, pretty busy, actually. Um, downsizing my reptile room, getting different stuff, adding new stuff, fixing stuff around. Um, actually got a GoPro too while I'm at it, just for the hell of it. Got a good deal on it, so I'm not gonna be complaining. Um, let me just show you real quick. Car parts, because I uh, picked up a Jeep Wrangler, so I've been hooking that up. So all my money's been going to that so far. But um, I still got my um, incubator just upgraded. I still got my emeralds. Got my green trees over here. I still got my snake rack. And um, downsize. So I got my other rack right over here. So I still have bull python stuff going on, just um, not as much. Market has honestly been crashing. People, you know, just been pumping out more and more bull pythons it doesn't make sense to me to buy stuff at the expo anymore it doesn't make sense i mean mainly stuff i buy from from juggernaut and other youtube guys you might know this especially from one of the youtubers that you will definitely will know so it doesn't make sense for me to buy any more bull pythons from other breeders because you know it's no point um so i pick i'm been giving it all my one gene animals so pretty much if you're not two gene and up i'm not gonna buy you it doesn't make sense for me like i said so i'm just gonna be very particular what i buy and get and add to my collection and breed i skipped breeding this year to give them a break and to pump them up for this season coming up so um it's a funny story for this too Send, he said, um, my boy sent it um, Monday, coming into Tuesday. So it was supposed to be here at 1030 when you do overnight. When you do ship your reptiles, express reptiles, it all goes through FedEx. You can't ship them from UPS. You can't ship them from the post office. They just have a funny thing about it. So you have to go through FedEx. So um, he sent us, he, he, he packed it up. Did great packing anyway. I'll show you guys in a few. And he dropped it off at FedEx and um, gave me the tracking number. No problem. Usual shipping stuff, whatever, you know. Blah, blah, bullshit, whatever. So um, I went to bed early because I know I have to get up early. And I work Tuesdays. And um, I'm, I'm looking at the confirmation and the update. Um, there's no update to the tracking. So we're wondering. And then he texts me, I believe, like at 9 something, 9.30. New York Times, he's in um California. And they lost the package. So I'm like, I went to bed for nothing early. Because I like to go to sleep like at four or five in the morning, whatever. And wake up late and go to work. Um so I'm like, they lost the package. So I'm like, well, um, I'm not gonna get that shit into tomorrow. So he calls, he calls um Express Reptiles. They um keep him updated. They worked with him. I just sound like, you know, I'm at work. I have to go to work. I can't leave. I just can't wait for this package, you know, because, you know, bills do come first. So they actually ended up delivering it on Tuesday, the same day. I was very surprised because I spoke to some people and people were like, tell me, like, that happens all the time. They usually deliver the next day. You know, once they lose it, someone dropped the ball on FedEx pretty much. So... So I want to show you guys. You know, I just had to open because I had to check if they were still good. So, you know, heat pack is still cold over here in New York. You know, and we're supposed to be in spring, and it's you know, you're sending me heat pack. You know, this weather's all fucked up. So the first one, I'll put it down here. I have something new for you guys later on. Let me see. Okay, yeah, this is perfect. All right, so this is a male. I'll show you why you guys picked up. So I have picked up Cinnamon Fire Mail. So if you guys already know who this is from, this is from Granddaddy Herps. So he um blessed me with well he didn't bless me, I paid for it, but you know, he hooked me up. Funny thing is, is I bought this a year ago. His her, you know, he had his clutches. I went like, well, let me know what you're gonna get rid of. He told me, you know. So I was like, you know, let me get the cinnamon fire because I actually got a couple of cinnamon cinnamon stuff I'm working with, so It'll work with my favor later on. So, try to get in the light here. Sorry, guys, if I try to do two things at once. 
So this is a male. So, and then the next thing I picked up is a female that I always wanted regardless, you know. That I wanted in my collection regardless, you know. It didn't matter if it was just for to work with or to breed. It didn't matter to me. So, right here. This is a pewter calico. He said he bred it to his his lesser pewter calico. He said it could be. I'm pretty sure it's a two gene. He doesn't. He's not sure. This is. I believe this is his first time breeding. If I'm wrong, this uh, this project. So it could be a two banger. It could be a three banger. We won't know. He doesn't know. This is his first time producing producing this. So this is a female. I always wanted a calico in my collection. So these are pretty much probably the last bull pikes I will get in my collection. Probably. If I'm not, technically it's kind of fucked up. If I'm not upgrading it, it's not going to be in my collection. So pretty much if like, I'm just trying to move them up. Jeans. Three, I, I'm trying to go three and higher. You know, that's the way you have to go in this game. It's It sucks. Too many people are just dealing with bull pythons. So I'd rather just stick to my emeralds and my green trees. Because those are harder to produce. In a way, especially for emeralds. But, um... Just had to downsize the collection, you know. Everybody likes to get out the whole collection, work something new. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to downsize my collection and reevaluate what am I going to exactly do. So I have I have more females than males. Then, like I said, I just have to make sure what am I going to do and work with because it doesn't make sense to get a whole bunch of ball pythons and then, you know, you feed them up and then you breed them or not even that, you, you bulk them up and then, you know, you can't work with them because, you know, the price has dropped. There's no point. No one wants them. You know, a lot of people are pretty much doing, I'm dealing with this and it's not worth it, you know. This is not supposed to be a business. This is a hobby to me. But, uh, you know, I don't want to be stuck with um, 30 normals and I can't get rid of them. You know, and I'm stuck. I'm asked out. So, like I said, it's um, it's better. Just a downsizer, you know. See what I'm gonna work with later on in the road. But let me know what you guys think. Like, comment, subscribe. Peace.